learn how to animate your character to do this in under 5 minutes. In this tutorial, we will animate with control rig. If you don't have it for a character, I will upload in a few days tutorial about how to create one, but you don't need one. If you don't have, just go to skeleton, click create animation and start. It's completely okay, sometimes when I don't have control rig, this is what I do. So, if you do have control rig, just go to your mesh, to your rig, and grab it into your scene. The colorful things you see right here are the controls of your control rig. Those things control the bones of the character, and we can use that to create our animation. Here you can see your animation graph, with all of your character's bone in it. When you hit that sign, or press enter, the system will register a keyframe. The keyframe registers the current location of the bones you marked at the current time. So if you press keyframe here, move the timeline a bit, move the hand, and press keyframe here, it does this. Good. Now let's start with our animation. Before you start an animation, get a reference for yourself. Humans are the best. Grab a video from YouTube, or just even film yourself doing it. We will use that video, I will link it in the description down below. So let's go to the video and see what is the first pose. First pose, all we need to do is to get the elbows up. Let's make it 90 and 90. So, 90 and 90. Let's make the hands a bit right here. And we want the elbows to be a bit farther from the body, so uh, we want to collide. So let's just move it this way. One, two, and one, two. Actually, let's just make it a bit one more here. Nice. So since it's our first pose, just press on the plus sign over here and it will sign all of our bones. Now let's go forward 15 frames. Since we're on 30 FPS, 15 frames is half a second. And let's start to make the second pose. So move the elbow a bit out there. Move the hand itself a bit, move the elbow, press on the square, rotate the leg, and rotate it again. And let's make it a bit lower, so no, that's too much, let's do minus 5. And since we have this activated, every time we change something, it automatically registered a keyframe. So we can go to here, press play, and we have this. Nice. Let's go to 30 frames and do it to the other side. So we want it to be a bit closer to the body, a bit further to front of the body. One, two, three, four, five maybe. If it's not perfect, it's fine. You can always adjust things later. Don't feel bad about it. And let's move the legs to the other side. Oops, this is not the legs. We want 80 degrees. And let's move the body downstairs. Nice. Let's see how it looks. Not good. Why is it not good? Because we haven't registered anything on the hand at the 15. So, so what we need to do, go to the 15, and right here, we want to register this thing. Okay. Let's mark all of those without the body. Go to 45 frames, and press Ctrl V. Nice, go to... Now let's start with this. So in 45 frames, let's go to the body and lower it one more. And let's go to 60 and lower it one more. 
Let's see how it looks. Pretty good. Now, let's go upstairs. And mark all of this. Okay, this is 75. Plus control V. Because I want to do the upward spot. Now it's really, really simple as well. Just one, two, point five, like minus five, and zero. Nice, let's first play. Okay, that was super, super easy. Nice. Now, of course, you can just like adjust this thing a lot and a lot and a lot and polish it a lot more but since this is a tutorial we won't polish it now let's right click over here and press bake animation sequence what it does it just bake your animation and press export and now let's make the full animation so let's make it bigger Let's make it longer. So right now, you can see we have a longer curve. We can extend this. Let's grab all of those. Go to the to the next stick. Press Control V, and you have it once more. So he does all this thing to the down, and again. Let's do it one more time. And right now, we need to make the finisher. So let's copy this to 400. Let's put it in there. Mark over here, go to the next frame, and let's do the end of the animation. So it goes like this. Oops, not like this. Get the elbow up stairs, maybe rotate it. We will do the same thing here. Make him go. And his legs, his knees, so it looks like this. We can even right here do like a bit of a like this, so he will jump maybe a bit here. Nice again, you can adjust it as much as you want, and the next animation. We want him to be with his hand upstairs to stand up. Let's make it a bit down. His hand like this. Maybe his shoulder. Of course you can adjust his fingers if you want as well. All you have to do is like just do this for every finger. <laughs> I want to do it right now. So let's see how it looks. Boom, boom. So now that we have the new the poses, we can just do between. So let's make it again. Maybe jumpy a bit. make its hand lower and let's make it over here as well and right here we have the last uh, pose so let's make his 
Now I'll go down. Whoops. And maybe like this. And let's again make the jump. Nice. <laughs> I really like it. Just export exactly like we did before and that's it. You have your animation. A few moments later. If you want to learn how to create this cinematic, click right here. You don't know how to connect between the animations you just did and your character? Click right here. Like, subscribe and have a wonderful day.